Welcome back. On this video we will learn how to improve the performance of our Windows Phone. I have a Lumia 640 phone. It only has one gigabyte of RAM. So every time I open multiple applications, the first one that I open gets kicked out of the memory. So when I open it, I have to constantly deal with the resuming circles, the loading icon. It's very annoying. Also, the overall performance is um, pretty bad on this phone because of one gigabyte of RAM. So we're going to install a program on our phone that will allow us to borrow some space from the phone's storage and convert it into an area that the phone can use as a RAM. So we are going to artificially increase the amount of RAM of our phone to boost the performance. For that you have to make sure you have Windows 10. And let's begin. Let's go to go to settings and then inside settings in the search area type developer. And as you type you should see an entry that says for developers. Let's go ahead and select that icon uh, option and right now it's set to allow applications only from Windows Store. This is for safety reasons change that to developer mode and accept it by tapping yes. This will allow us to install this third-party application that we're going to install. Now let's go back to our home screen. I have a shortcut of the website that I'm going to use to download the file but I will add the link to the description section. You have to visit this link on your phone. So once you visit this website on your phone, scroll down and you should see four files. The first two are called dependencies, the last two are called inter in in interrupt tools. The difference between those two is the, the first one is for phones with ARM architecture. If you have a Snapdragon phone, for example mine is Snapdragon uh, processor on inside the Lumia 640. So I'm going to use the ARM version. If you have Intel processor you would have to use the x86-64 version. So what I need to download is the first file dependencies ARM and the third file inter interrupt tools the ARM version. So let's go ahead and download these files. I'm going to save them. The first file and the third file. Now that the downloads are ready, let's close this, go to our file explorer so I can see the downloaded files. Go to downloads, this is where it keeps the downloads. And I have the both files. So I'm going to click on Let's start with the dependencies. Um, it says it cannot open it because it's missing a program. So let's touch yes so it will go to the Windows Store and take us to the program that we need in order to open this. So as, as you can see we need something to open the zip file. We need to install a program. I'm going to install archiver by Tom Miles. Let's go ahead and install this. Okay. I think we should have the application. Okay, we have the application archiver. So, let's go back to file explorer and try the dependencies again. This time it opens a folder named ARM. Let's open that and let's touch the very first file, the framework file, framework 1.6. It will ask us for permission to install this. Touch yes, install. Now the second one, the runtime 1.6. Click yet, install. 
now the third one install and now the fourth one install now that we're done with this let's go back to our interrupts tools the actual program that we need to install so what we just installed was something that we need in order to run the actual program so let's go ahead and open the interrupts program and uh, I'm going to install the certificate first just in case and let's press install your certificates are installed okay let's install the actual program the first file and click install and just in case I'm going to try the certificate again in case it needs to be installed after the program okay now we have installed all the programs and dependencies that are necessary to run the program and there you go as you can see now in your program list you should see interrupt tools remember make sure to go to settings and change your phone to developer mode otherwise you will not be able to install this so let's go ahead and open the interrupt tools I'm going to click next next this device it is asking for my pin okay so I enter the pin it's asking again okay oops I accidentally click something else alright so you should see this screen go ahead and touch the menu hamburger icon on top left corner and open registry scroll down you should be able to scroll down touch registry browser and from here we need H, H key local machine click local machine and then system and scroll down current control set then scroll down no scroll up um, control and then we have to scroll down a lot to find session manager there it is session manager and then memory management memory management and then paging files paging files on your Windows desktop computers you also have page files so essentially we're doing the exact same thing on the phone so let's go ahead and click the paging files actually I have done this earlier that's why it's already 124 but yours should be your should be um, it should be 256 to 56 should be like this 256 to 56 so what you want to do is you want to erase those 256 and make sure there is a space there okay one zero two four space one zero two four okay so you should have you page file dot space 1024 space 1024 let's close the keyboard and this is the okay icon once you click okay you are done